thousands partied outside Gambia's presidential palace on Sunday night after incumbent president Adama Barrow won re-election. Saturday's vote was the first in 27 years without disgraced former president Yahya Jame, who fled to Equatorial Guinea after refusing to accept defeat to Barrow five years ago. Once cowed by Jame's omnipresent secret police, crowds thronged into the streets of the capital Banjul as results came in. This peaceful election was seen by some as a line drawn under Jame's more than two decades of despotic rule, a period marred by killings and torture. Speaking to his supporters, Barrow said democracy had taken its course. Having been the lucky person to be chosen by you, I sincerely assure you, each and every one of you, that I will do all I can and utilize every resource at my disposal to make Gambia a better place for all. all. Barrow's first term was seen by many as a welcome break from Jamie's brutal rule, though the global health crisis hampered progress for an economy dependent on tourism as well as fish and peanut exports. Nevertheless, and despite living in exile, Jame had tried to influence the poll. In telephone speeches relayed at campaign rallies, Jame had tried to persuade his supporters to back an opposition coalition. But he appears to have failed to dent Barrow's following. The president received around 53% of the vote, according to the Electoral Commission, far outstripping his nearest rival. Three opposition candidates have said they do not accept the results because of problems at polling stations, though they have not provided specifics or evidence of wrongdoing.